Welcome back to a Game of Thrones. Last episode, we actually got a huge amount done. We married Daenerys Targaryen, which is probably going to get King Robert Baratheon, Bobby B himself, kicking down our front door with his 220,000 men trying to take her back from us. We also finished the uh, scholarship focus and built our own observatory, which in turn gave us a scholar trait and allowed us to join the Alchemist Guild, which is going to give us access to wildfire. It's going to allow us to make fake valuables, which is essentially becoming our own goldsmith, and along with all the other bonuses you get from that type of society. We also went on a big old world tour and got 1400 prestige pretty early on, which is quite nice to have, especially for what is essentially just a duke level character. That's a huge amount. Now, there's been an idea floating around since the Elder King's days for subscribers to have uh, cities, counties, and houses named after them, and that's something I want to do this video. So, for five lucky subscribers and commenters on this video, you could get picked to have five houses and obviously landed titles in the Iron Islands named after you. I'll announce the winners in two episodes time. So not the next episode, but the episode after that should be coming out on Monday, assuming that nothing happens in between that. So I want you to leave a comment with what you want your house to be called. And then obviously if it's appropriate, don't call it like big old fuck. Well, you can call it that if you want to. I don't really care. Um, nothing that's going to get me in too much trouble anyway. And, uh, I will obviously name a house after you when we, when we land your character. And obviously you'll be some of the first gilded Kraken, gilded Reaver characters in the Iron Island. So I think the early ones are probably the best ones to get. But I'll probably do this occasionally through the series, maybe every couple of episodes or so. So that we can eventually convert the whole of Westeros into just people who are subscribed to this channel, which I think would be really funny. That's end done. Good luck. I, I'm putting emphasis, leave what you want your house to be called in the comment because I don't want to act, use someone's YouTube name and then them get angry at me because it's their full name or something like that. Anyway, that's it. I think we're good to go. So, first things first, we need to start revoking some lands from these guys so that I can give it to you guys. Uh, and the way we're going to do that is we're going to incite revolts on them. So this guy's a 140% chance to revolt. Let's see if we can get to join us. Uh, we've got Corin the Spymaster won't join. Um, all of my patricians, funnily enough, all of the Gilded Crack and Gilded Reaver members want to join. So, that shouldn't actually take too long. I think we've got, what was that, 147%. And Daenerys is pregnant. That's pretty helpful. Okay, we've got Char info left on there. Hang on a sec. Uh, there we are. Right. It's taking a while to open the console there. I don't know why. I thought it would crash them for a second. Oh, please don't make me re-record this again. Um... Okay, so we've got the plot going, and what we want to do is we want to move our Spy Master over there as well just to boost it up as much as we can. Let's have a look. 158%. That should be done relatively soon. We'll work across our provinces here, uh, revoking those in advance. We can hold a couple of them for a while, so I might just only revoke two until that uh, until the competition, if you want to call it that, is done. We probably also want to start fabricating claims on other parts of the Iron Islands and slowly sweeping across if we can. Um, the issue is, Balon is quite powerful. How much do we count for his uh, levies? Let's have a look here. We're actually one of the... We're in the second half of the weaker vassals. So unfortunately, we don't really stand a chance. If we do want to declare war on Balon, we'd have to get a lot of people on our side. I'm thinking that once we've built up enough gold, we could hire mercenaries, retinues, that type of thing. And that will help us out a lot against him. But for now, I think we just want to focus on consolidating what we've got. More importantly... I think we really want to start building up our, um... Lonely Light has no true abode. Sorry, I've never seen this event before. Your Excell Excellency and Patron Magister Jolly Roger. Lonely Light has no true abode fit for the purpose of the Guild of Alchemists. Sure, okay. Uh, plans are laid out for a new guild hall in Lonely Light. Its patrons will be your assigned mission. It costs 300 gold. Oh, shit. Well, I was just about to say, we kind of want to spend a lot more money upgrading our own provinces because we haven't really done a huge amount right now our monthly balance is plus 15 if you're not including the uh expenses we pay to bail on obviously we want to become independent anyway so that's a valid number oh we have a chance of succeeding with our plot already um sure you know what? i was just about to upgrade that trade market let's not just in case we have to hire mercenaries let's go for the plot 60 percent chance perfect it worked so what this means is that now he's revo now he has revolted against us. When we put him in prison, we can actually revoke his title. The downside to it is our councils do get a vote on it. But seeing as three of our magisters, which I assume are on our council. Actually, none of them are on the council. Okay. 
Our council like us, and all of them are Gilded Crack and Gilded Reavers, though, so chances are they'd want to have this guy's title revoked, seeing as he is traditional Ironborn. So let's go ahead and raise some troops. We do have... You know what? Almost exactly the same amount of men as him. That's kind of weird. Um, I don't want to risk losing this war, so I'm going to go ahead and hire mercenaries as well. This is why I was saving the gold, just in case we had... Uh, an issue, shall we say, when it came to troops. And we did succeed with the plot. Let's go ahead and have a council member. Who's idle then? Oh, this guy here. Um, let's have you proselytize there. We can retreat these guys onto the boats. I will move them just into the sea for now. We'll have these guys join up with them. Uh, Balon is offering us the position of commander. We do have 19, but also I want to lead my own army, so we're going to say no to that. If you take his position as commander, you can't lead your own armies during, uh, say, a civil war or anything like that. So Jolly Roger on the center. We're going to have uh, Enderhar and Wolfgar. We're going to land our boats here. And I'm going to wait for the morale to... Oh, we actually had a son. Oh, shit, that's great. Okay, and he came out as a stoop. That's okay, that's not bad. It's obviously better than nothing, right? Um, a son was born to match the Jolly Roger Priestator and Princess Daenerys Stormborn named Donor. We're going to name you Elrang. Traditional, classic, ironborn name, Elrang Hor. Okay, and let's make him... The question is, do we want to make him thrift or struggle? Now, struggle because we're going to be going to war a lot, I imagine. Trying to, obviously, declare independence against the Iron Throne and the Iron Islands. But struggle suits... Sorry, thrift suits a merchant republic more. So we're going to go with that. And then, of course, you can educate children from birth now, which is something I never seem to remember. Um... Why don't we get... Uh, it's a shame we haven't got anyone slightly better. We're going to get the skilled steward to train him as long as we can and hopefully hire someone better later on. Uh, speaking of which, let's do that right now. Uh, we, we can't afford it. We haven't got enough gold. We, we're not in the negative, are we? No, not quite. All right, let's wait for these troops' morale to increase a little bit. And they got on boats, which is pretty annoying because they're going to head straight to Lonely Light. Um, the question is, who can win their siege first? There's a chance of us getting zealous, brave, or proud. Hey, that's pretty good. And we got none, because of course, I don't think we've ever got a trait from an event. They are going to siege down that city almost instantly. Right, this is a this is a problem. I wasn't expecting them to immediately retreat, but... I don't worry about it too much. Um, Prof position on Lord Paramount Balon Council is under question. High Priest Sargon of Slang Castle is trying to have him removed. That was the guy, if you remember, that we gave the land to. Um, Prolf is the master of ships. I mean, he seems okay. Uh, you know what? I'm going to say no because he's a different culture and religion. We're going we're gonna to play the meta game here. All right. Let's go ahead and immediately head over to the Iron Islands before they siege it. I think we're going to get there. Okay. In time. This was dangerous. We are boat bombing into them. Getting straight wrath. Wow. That was very lucky. That was a risky play there. Because obviously when you come off of boats, you start at half morale. So... I was actually quite surprised we won that. It's going to land here. Cut off their troops. Okay, we can fight them. Lord Tristan skill skin point. What is his personal combat is the real question. 15. And we are... 170. Yeah, prepare to die, fair wind scum. He'll not even manage to touch me. He's no match for my might. One mistake is all he'll get. Um, let's attack with force. I forcefully overwhelmed his defensive stance. Die. We got him. Victory is mine. Well, that was good. Okay. Free prestige. I'll take it. 70% war score already. I don't think we're at any risk of losing this now. That was pretty risky there for a second. And now we just got to wait for the siege to go through. So what we can do while we're waiting for that is we can put down our boats. We're not at any risk of them sieging our capital anymore. That's one thing I've got to remember when declaring wars. That we've got a very, very squishy capital. 57 garrison. They could have just assaulted that and we could have been in a very bad position because we also couldn't have landed our boats there. So we'd have taken even more of a morale hit. Alright, let's pick a new ambition. Oh, what's wrong with Daenerys? She's depressed? Oh no, what happened? Here, have a gift. Oh, wait, we can't. Um, We could educate her ourselves. Let's do that. And what that will do is that will give her an opinion buff with us because we are her mentor. I think it gives plus 10 or something like that. Um, 
We might want to switch to the family focus in that case, just until we've at least got some kids. Let's do that. And uh, let's set our ambition to... We can't win a war, so I guess we'll just say have five children. Maybe even fall in love. Why not? We'll see if we can fall in love with Daenerys. That'll probably, hopefully, get rid of her depressed trait. Alright, minus 4.3. It's going to take a while. And I think at this point we can... Oh, charismatic negotiate. That's a pretty good trait. Good work. Um, we could probably afford to start buffing up the city now. I don't think we need to worry about holding any more gold to the side for this war going badly. Alright. Uh, let's go trade market. Who are you? What do you want? Uh, what are you voting for? What are we currently voting on in... Kingdom of the Iron Islands. Let's have a look. Council. Can I see what we're voting on here? Hang on. Liege Council? He just, he's just calling in council support. There isn't actually a vote. I see. Um... I'm going to switch to Malcontent. Sure. I mean, obviously, if he now calls in a vote that's going to go badly against us, that could be a problem, but he owes us a favor, so it's not too bad. Um, we're carrying out duties for the Alchemist Guild. I've met Acolyte Harlan. Acolyte Harlan. What, what's wrong with you? So he can lose 150 Esoteric Knowledge or become his rival. Where is he? He's all the way over there in the Sisterlands. In the, uh, they count as the Sisterlands, right? Yeah, the Sisters. So I'm going to say I don't really care if he's our rival because I think he's too far away to do anything. And the siege is over. Perfect. Let's push for peace. And revoke is the title. Um, we have a valid revocation reason, do we not? Oh, no. Is this another mod where they've changed the rules of revocation? Oh, good. Oh, perfect. That's what I love to see the most. This guy's loaded with the plot, and we are now at war with him. Probably shouldn't have put down those mercs. Oh, well. Um, I'm sure we can win this anyway. Again, raise the troops. Put them on the boats. Let's move them over there. How many men has he got? He's got a lot of troops. This might have been a mistake. Um... Should have probably checked that first, right? You know what? Let's just sit in Lonely Light. Let's not worry about it. Put down the boats. He's just going to siege provinces that I really don't care about. My wife Daenerys is pregnant. Good for her. Uh, the vassals of Lonely Light now view with respect. Now, that is a mechanic added by the Game of Thrones world to... Um, essentially keep the round together. So, the way it works is... You have levels of fear. Fear respects how well you're respected. I think it's kind of based around the Robert Baratheon quote that uh, fear keeps the seven kingdoms together, Ned. Um, so we have fear level 46, uh, which makes us respected. Vassals are 30% less likely to join hostile factions or start plots. A ruler's level of fear is determined by their prestige, traits, length of reign, and their actions. So because we crushed a revolt, we got a lot of fear score from that, which made us respective. Obviously, lowering the National Revolt risk and making our vassals like us more. Alright. I don't know if it goes the full... Like, if your vassals fear you too much, I don't know whether they become a bit rebellious. Whether it, whether there's a good sort of level to keep it at. Let him rot. I want to find out why we can't revert this guy's titles. This is some Game of Thrones specific. So, we don't have a valid revocation reason, but we do... We would in the base game, and we would in a lot of other mods, because he was obviously... Uh, at the leader of a rebellion. We have a truce. For another 10 years. <laughs> Not ideal. Um, what else can we do here? We could request legion intervention. He'll say no, because obviously this guy is his culture and his religion. I wonder if there's a law we have to pass first then. Maybe we do have to pass titles and officers. Interesting. Okay, so maybe we'll save up some gold, assuming we don't need to spend any on this, uh... Oh, good. On this war here. Okay. I was worried about this. Your guards drag Giles Fairwind up from his cell and throw him before you. I've come for justice, he says. By right of birth and blood, I demand a trial by combat. Euron Fairwind will be my champion. Euron Fairwind has a personal combat of 55. We have a personal combat of 170. I'll handle this myself. 50 prestige. Let the duel begin. Um, attack with force. Strike, it's over. And he is defeated. Perfect. Victory is mine. And now he is denounced. Oh, right. That's probably why. Okay, so the way Game of Thrones um, justice works, we'll call it that, 
is they have to be found guilty by either a trial by combat or a trial by court. So when this goes in our prison, we could have right-clicked him, I assume, called for trial. There it is. Um, because he demanded a trial by combat, he's been found guilty automatically. So now, I say the law dictates the council must decide your fate. And now what we can do is now we can vote on what happens with him. So I assume if we go revoke title, we still can't revoke his title. Ah! Um, but I assume we can exile him and the council say yes. So we can exile him now without any problems. I still think that if we pass the law allowing title revocation, we might be allowed to revoke it. Crackhorn's position on Lord Paramount's Balance Council. Yeah, whatever. Uh, it must be removed. Alright, how long till we can hire some mercenaries is the real question. So all mercenaries in this are a flat value. 150 gold for 1,500 troops of the same monthly cost by the looks of it. Unless they've been damaged in warfare. Um, oh no, they're just different mercenary types. So these guys are spearmen. Um, sure. We probably want... Raiders, for example. Actually, no, we probably don't. I think we've got enough boats to handle them anyway. So we probably want to take, like, a cell sword infantry. So let's save up another few gold. That's a couple of months. These guys won't do enough damage to end the war in that time. Let's put it that way. This is displeasing. We've been removed from the council. And... Oh. Wilma Goodbrother has been... Re has replaced me. Sure. I can make him my rival. Oh, I can make Wilma my rival. No, I'll just say how dare he. I don't care about Wilma. All right, let's hire these troops. He still has more men than us, but... With better commanders, we can still win. Now, this is risky. Definitely, definitely a bit of a risk running in with... Less troops. Let's go to his capital. And start sieging it. We had a son called Quaylan, who is perceptive. Hey, that's much better. Okay. You are now our true heir. I should have probably renamed him, but it's not a big deal. Assign him a guardian. Let's go for Jolly Roger, obviously. This guy's a much better kid. So he is just a direct upgrade from Elrang. And let's lower the fleet so we can at least save some money where we can. Now I'm hoping... You want me to go back on your council? No, fuck you. I'm hoping he will cross over us here. Is there a river crossing or anything he needs to take? Um, where is that? Pebbleton? No, there's not. We could still win it, depending on our army composition. It's too risky. It is, it is, this is a huge risk. We could lose this war and be overthrown, I'm sure. Um, what if we surrender? He could depose us. Right, he could depose us, but we would become just a regular patrician rather than the uh, magister. Would be a pretty crappy start. Is there anything else I can do? What if we request Luge intervention? And he's, he'll say no. Yeah, obviously he'll say no. I sort of expected that. Um, do we want to wait till we can save up enough money for more mercenaries is the real question. So he's going to attack into us. We're getting a defensive bonus because he's attacking into hills. Will that make up 700 men? Probably not. What's going to determine this is entirely commanders. Oh, you know what? I think we are going to win. Troops get plus 10% morale. Wow. Okay. Uh, who is this guy? Craghorn, my steward. Uh, I can give him some gold. Sure, let's do that. We won it. Holy shit, we won it. And like I said, it was all because of his commanders. Let's clean up his troops. Damn, that was incredibly lucky. That could have gone very badly. And we could have immediately lost our primary title there. Um, gain a learning exchange for 48 gold. Why not? That seems fair. Our mercenaries have disbanded, but it's not a big deal. Oh, we only slightly went into the negative there. That's not entirely fair, I don't think. Daenerys is pregnant again. I've got righteous imprisonment against Gevin. What's Gevin done? Um, nothing's targeting me, so I don't care that much. I don't want to let these troops escape. Even though it's sacrificing the, uh, the siege a little bit. We could assault it. We do outnumber them 10 to 1, so I'm going to do that. Yeah, that was probably worth it. And let's move back over here. What is this other war we're part of? I assume that's one Balon's declared. Oh, Robert Baratheon has declared a peasant revolt for Hadlow or against defensive war. Should say against the peasant revolt. That's fine. Reputation tarnished. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Just what I wanted. Let's hire a new courtier in that case. 
Uh, what do we want? We want a new treasurer. Was that our treasurer? Oh, it's Giles, either way. Oh, no, it was this guy, wasn't it? We need a new uh, Justice or Justice R. Tristan, you are no better, but you are at least a different character, so we've got that going for us. Uh, we could put Tenaris on the council. Yeah, let's do that. She's probably way better. Oh, God, we can't see it. Just capital. We have nowhere near enough men. Brilliant. Okay. Well, um... I guess we've got to just wait now until... I guess we've just got to wait now until we can hire mercenaries again. I think we want to move them out of the province. Otherwise, we can get siege events, which will make our men... Or what we can take attrition and things like that. We can lose troops due to siege events. They'll also reinforce if we're in friendly territory. Hooray. Thank you. Appreciate that. Oh, no. Agile, astute, and appealing died stillborn. Damn it. Oh, well. We'll do what we have to do. R.I.P. R.I.P. the second, I think that is. Yep. All right. How much gold was it for mercenaries? 150. Yeah, that's not too bad. This hasn't been the most smooth in terms of warfare, I will admit. Have we got enough troops now? If we don't have enough troops, that is going to be a problem because we're not going to be able to afford to hire any more. 2,800? Oh, God. Is that still not going to be enough? Oh, just enough. You know what? Let's take the initiative. Let's go for it. Are we staying in the green at least? We are. Okay. So we could still over time hire more mercenaries if we need to. Um, sure. Don't care what they think. The, the council system in this game is a lot harder to balance. It's like Conclave, but harder. So even though we, we had to take that option to not incur tyranny, other council members hated that option because they supported his membership. Um, let's put Yon. I think we can probably just about finish the siege. Again, another problem. We're going to hire fire more council members and have to hire more. Sure, Treasurer Rinyolf. He's our patrician, so that's not too bad, I guess. As long as we get no siege events, we're probably going to win this. I'd rather not spend any more money on... On more monies. More money on mercenaries. Daris is pregnant again. You guys can chill out, you know. Come on. We can do this. Okay. Let's, let's, let's designate an air while we wait. Um, Quaylum, because he was just the best one. Commander. Um, wow, we have some really good commanders available. Let's replace some of these other crappy ones. Uh, 14 replaced with a 15. And we'll get... Uh, we'll leave the troops here. And we'll put you there and you there. We're now players Quaylon Hoare. Perfect. Wolf is fired from the council. And we're getting straight wounded. But we've also finished our war. Thank God for that. Okay. Let's not declare any more wars for a while. <laughs> we really need to start building up our treasury before we can afford to do this properly. So they're both in our prison. So what we want to do now is save up enough money to try and go for titles and officers. Means we are going to have to call in council support or at least buy favours. I'd rather buy favours from everyone. Alright, you fair ones, stay where you are. Phew, I need, I need to take a breather. This is, uh... There's way too much happening. Alright, Master Harag. No, like I said, we're not we're not going to any more wars. We're not revoking any more titles. Someone else is fired from the council. God damn it. Oh, she's pretty good. Agile. Sure, we're training you in etiquette because, unfortunately, women can't inherit. I don't know if she'd be alright in it anyway. I kind of prefer the other guy with plus two to all of his stats. Okay, you can come back on the council despite the fact that we've fired you multiple times at this stage. And can we build up the next trade market? Perfect. It's giving us plus 24 now. That's absurd. Way too much. Alright, what's our council doing? You collect taxes there. Um, I'll get you to reinforce our levies. Obviously, the realm. And you are proselytizing. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, I could. We could demand religious conversion for these guys. Um, who's Euron? Euron Fairwind. What happened? Why are you suddenly free? Or why, why are you suddenly not the ruler of this province? Well, we don't care about you in that case. Um, ransom him off for 10 gold. Your Lord Giles can't afford it. How is this guy... I sort of missed what happened there. Well, we won't worry about it too much. How did you get the title? I do want to find out. Um, 
Oh, okay. So the guy we put in our prison died in our dungeon because he had cancer. So someone else inherited. That's a bit of a shame because that whole wall was for nothing in that case. Oh, well. And we're still a tyrant, even now. Even though we've done everything to try and avoid it. It's so annoying. Okay, we lost straight wounded, so that's a good start. And is she pregnant again, or am I going crazy? No, she's not. Okay. She's got to save up some gold now. Uh, we gained 20 gold. Oh, no, absolutely not. We've got quite enough courtiers already. Can't afford to get rid of gold. We're trying to save up. Oh, we can go reaving. No! No! The interface moved. God damn it. My gold. Okay, let's go reaving. That should hopefully give us enough gold to be able to buy favors. Things conspiring to kill me. What a surprise. Let's go to Northern Essos. And we'll also ransom this guy here. Okay. Um... This guy is trying to... Sorry? Well, apparently Balon the Second is planning to have me arrested. Balon is plotting against us? Can you can you not, though? Still his crown. Um, were we going to do that this episode? Were we going to go on a big adventure to steal someone's artifact? Tyrant's got a composite bow, which I'm not really interested in. Hostatully has... Observations. Um, let's go ahead and steal the Dwift... The Driftwood Crown from Balon in that case. I want to show this event off because I feel like I haven't done it yet. So, what? how this event works is you get a choice of several sometimes, or just two in this case, counsellors. And it's based on their stats, how good and how likely you are to succeed in this event. So, we'll go with Hilmar because he has 21 Intrigue. And we are also going Reaving, obviously. At the same time as we're trying to steal this guy's crown. Maybe we're going reaving around the Iron Islands. Who knows? Uh, Daenerys improved relations. That's pretty good. Thank you very much. And she's also pregnant. Alright, so we've arrived at Lord Paramount Bale on the second's capital. It's heavily guarded. There are a group of guards at the main door. So we can now force our way inside, sneak through the window, or convince some servants to let me in. And as it says, it depends on your particular skill. So this depends on finesse. I'm not sure what is finesse relative to... Um, convince some servants is diplomacy, obviously, and force our way inside is physical strength. So we will go with that one. 94. So we're going to fight the guards and basically break in. You've managed to evade most patrols until you come up outside the treasury. Two board guards stand between you and your prize. We can rush them. 92% chance of success. Poses guards. 55% chance of success. Or, depends on your skills with alchemy and scholarly knowledge. Create a noxious gas. This is because we're probably part of the uh, alchemist guild. So, let's go for rush them before they raise the alarm. Alright, we did it. Now that you have dealt with the guards, you're free to search around the treasury for your target. Time is short and the treasury is filled with documents, jewels, and many miscellaneous items. We have got a higher chance this time. We've got 74% based on stewardship. Let's go for it. Risky. We did it. We had a pretty high chance, so I'm not surprised. After making your escape, you feel relieved. You've managed to steal one of the artifacts, and your foe has no idea. We've stolen the Driftwood Crown. Obviously, a crown of our ancestors. We can't equip it because we are not a feudal royal monarch. Bit of a shame. Uh, but, more to the point, it's ours now. <laughs> Sinking in our treasury, gathering dust, but it is ours. And let's attack. It's going to fund all our favours. And we've captured a salt wife. No, no. Don't want any salt wives. I want just exclusively children with Daenerys for these double bloodline traits. Attack. And more gold. Thank you very much. Alright, who's this guy? We were at rest after a day of much pillaging and raping. Where I sh we're showing I'm clearly the most daring of the Ironborn. Where I can kill, plunder, and drink the most. Dai disagrees, however. Challenges me to a finger dance to prove my, bra to prove my bra bravery. Um, sure, I accept. He was too good. 85% chance of no effects. 10% chance of getting the trait wounded. 5% chance of getting maimed. And we gain the trait severely injured. Brilliant. Just what I wanted. Just wounded though, luckily enough. So we just like grazed our finger rather than completely chopping it off. A duel with a local master arms. And that's this guy, I assume. 75. Yeah, we can beat this guy. He's no match for my might. Strike. Die. 75 prestige. Thank you very much. I like that it does show the the little death symbol. They've, they've really fleshed out the death mechanics in the uh, Game of Thrones one quite significantly. Who's this person? The inheritance of new geese has been thrown into question. Well, no shit. That's because it doesn't actually exist on the map. Hey, look. There it is. <laughs> that's, that's so weird. All right. 
New Geese fell into an interregnum. Great Council of Nobles being determined, being called to determine the heir. Sure. Doesn't matter because these are all off-map characters anyway. Let the Raven begin. Successful raid. Now hopefully, we can come out with enough favour to change all these laws because this is uh, driving me mad a lot with all this tyranny. Forcefully overwhelmed his defensive stance and death. 75. Oh no, just 15 prestige for that one. That guy was obviously way less prestigious. A daughter named Gorda. I'm going to name you... Uh, Gouda. Gouda. Gou Gou Gudo. Sure. Should have left the equals in there as well. Uh, we're going to name you, or train you at least, in etiquette. Limited realm authority. Doesn't bother me too much, Bobby. And once we pass these council laws, we'll be free to actually do what I wanted to do this episode. I didn't realise it was quite as restricting as it actually is. Uh, no, no one's getting plunder. It's my plunder. And we are back. Now, there is... Somebody pointed out that the tooltip said that other gilded kraken and gilded reavers didn't really care if we weren't reaving. I've looked through the files and I have edited it properly to change it so they do get an opinion buff with us. I think it's just the tooltip is broken. Uh, so we could test that, I suppose. Be useful for me to know in between episodes. If you look at this guy, um, doesn't say... Oh yeah, one reaving plus 20. So yeah, it does work. It's just the tooltip doesn't say that it works. So I wouldn't worry about it. But thank you for pointing it out. I was a bit worried then for a second that I had edited the event slightly wrong. Decline, don't care about you. 281 gold. Okay, next episode, we are going to be hopefully changing all the council laws and getting things set up so that we can start revoking titles. Because that was kind of the whole point of this episode, but it turns out, no. No, you don't get to do that at all. Because this game is heavily restricted on that type of thing. And I guess that's time supposed to represent, obviously if you're playing like the Iron Throne, the small council... And how the Hand of the King actually has a lot of power. And how your counselors generally do the ruling while the ruler does whatever the hell he wants to do in terms of Robert Baratheon. So, thank you for watching. Next episode, we will uh, we'll see what we can do. Don't forget to leave those comments with your house name. And I'll get that set up. Not next episode, but the episode afterwards. Thank you for watching.